Welcome to Workout Anywhere. chipper workout so you have to chip away at each exercise until you finish it before you can move on to the next exercise for beginners you get to do 25 reps today you guys are lucky intermediate you're gonna do 50 and then the advanced get to do a hundred yikes <laughs> so it's gonna take a while if you're doing the advanced workout drink water whenever you guys need it and follow Justin if you're doing advanced today I'll be showing the beginner slash intermediate version of the exercise. So our very first exercise today is gonna to be the jumping jack. He's just gonna demonstrate. You guys have done lots of jumping jacks, but we're gonna go back and forth, low impact for beginner. And remember, you can't move on until you finish all your reps. Good, okay. Our next exercise, we're gonna move on to the floor and we're gonna do toe touch ab crunches. You're gonna put your feet up into the air and you're gonna crunch up towards your toes. Breathe your air out as you're crunching. Just like this. For beginners, if this is too hard to hold your feet up, go ahead and drop your heels to the floor and do regular crunches. Awesome, again, you cannot move on until you finish your reps. Next, we're gonna stand back up and we're gonna do squats. So these are just air squats. The only difference is, is beginner and intermediate don't have to do quite as many as the advanced. So again, we're just gonna squat back on our heels. Make sure your knees don't come past your toes. Get as low as you can get. And keep your core nice and tight. We'll show a side view as well. And if you need to use a chair, you're welcome to use a chair. How those feel? Oh man, it's gonna burn after yeah. uh, 70. <laughs> okay, so for exercise number four, we're gonna move into side to side push ups. Justin's gonna demonstrate the advanced version. He's actually gonna be moving his feet and his hands together, back and forth, side to side. You get to count every single time you do a push up. For beginners, you're gonna be on your knees and you're gonna go side to side. Just like this, back and forth. If you're doing intermediate and you can do push-ups from your toes, but you can't do that many, go ahead and start on your toes and move down to your knees when you can't get any more. Good. So we're keeping our core nice and tight as we're doing this movement and remembering to breathe. The last exercise, we're gonna grab our medicine ball and we're gonna do ball slams. So Justin's gonna hold the ball above his head, he's gonna slam it down, drop underneath the ball, and pick it up. Awesome, just like this. For advanced, we want you guys to get as low as possible. For beginners, go ahead and try this movement, and if you can't do the movement, then just set your ball down, and I want you to just do regular squats. So if you're a beginner, you're just gonna be doing squats again. And remember, always use the chair if you need to. And we hope you guys like this workout. It's kind of a fun, different way to test your endurance and build on your endurance. So great job today. Uh, Justin's gonna go ahead and show you some cool down exercises. So while you're letting your heart rate slow back down, let's do the extending your arms out, away from your body, and pushing your shoulders out. Awesome. Great stretch for your back. Good. Yeah, go up to the back and shoulders. Okay. Whew, you better stretch your legs out. We've done a lot of leg movements today. So actually, I'm going to combine my hamstring stretch with a good upper body back stretch. So I'm actually going to extend my arms, tighten my core, and come down as far as I can. Awesome. Holding for about 20 to 30 seconds. Okay. Let's bring back the camper stretch. <laughs> I 
think this is Justin's favorite stretch. You can do this one all day. Good, so he's uh, pushing his knees out as he's squatting down. One Good. more. So you get a little hip flexor groin stretch. So he's just in a wide lunge stance here. And then to kind of even, you know, and progressively I'll... improve on that stretch, put your, try to put your inside palm inside your arch of your foot Good. and lift your back leg. Awesome. So I'll show that from this way. So I started here, put my palm down, and lift that back leg. and cool down after that workout. Take some time for it. Yeah, great job today, you guys. We'll see you back here next week, and make sure you do your workouts, okay? See you guys. Good job, guys.